One of us has more than 600 muscles. Who do you think it is? Pick me. Isn't it obvious? No, me. I'm a lean, mean, muscular machine. Actually, all three of us have more than 600 muscles in our bodies. <gasps> you must be joking. So, you mean, no matter how muscular somebody looks on the outside, we all have the same muscles on the inside? Yep, these muscles keep our bodies working and let us pick up a backpack, ride a bike, or even just smile at a friend. <gasps> and the muscles that you usually think of as muscles aren't the only ones you have. My head is spinning. Where did these kids get this stuff? On the internet. Where else? Actually, books in school aren't bad places to learn this stuff either. People actually have three types of muscles. Smooth muscle, cardiac muscle, and skeletal muscle. Let me start with smooth muscle. Smooth muscles are also called involuntary. That means they work even if you're not trying. Oh, right. Like this example of an involuntary muscle at work. <coughs> Just kidding. Ew! You are so gross. But in this case, he happened to be right. When a person throws up, the smooth muscles in the stomach are at work. The muscles push food out of the stomach, up through the esophagus, and out the mouth. I threw up once when I ate raw eggs for breakfast. Ah, no good. Right. Smooth muscles are found inside the walls of the stomach, intestines, and other hollow organs, like the bladder. Smooth muscle sits between the wall's outer covering and inner lining. Like the meat inside a sandwich. You got it. The smooth muscle layer in the wall helps keep things moving through the organ, like food through your intestines as it's being digested. I'm glad we have smooth muscles in our bladders. Some of them keep us from peeing before we're in the bathroom. Now that you mention it, is there a men's room nearby? Uh, back to the subject. Another kind of muscle works without you even trying. It's cardiac muscle. In other words, your heart. Very good. You might be interested to know the heart muscle is also called the myocardium. Myo what? Myocardium. It contracts and relaxes to pump blood through the rest of your body. All right already. I have smooth muscles. I have cardiac muscles. So what are these beautiful muscles? Ah, you mean your skeletal muscles. They're my favorite ones, too. May I continue? Skeletal muscles are also called voluntary muscles. Unlike involuntary muscles, you decide when and how to move these. They don't move unless you make them move, and they're attached to your bones by tendons. So all together, bones, tendons, and muscles make your body powerful. Right? Exactly. Power. Now we are talking. I bet you don't know how muscles get the message to move whenever you want them to. Bet you. I do. The voluntary muscles are controlled by the parts of the brain, known as the cerebral motor cortex and the cerebellum. That's a mouthful. Yeah, but it's easy to understand. It works like this. When you decide to move, the motor cortex sends an electrical signal through the spinal cord and peripheral nerves to the muscles, causing them to contract. The cerebellum coordinates the muscle movements ordered by the motor cortex. Sensors in the muscles and joints send messages back to the cerebellum, and the result is smooth, coordinated motion. Okay, okay. Let me tell him what happens inside when I make a muscle. I remember this part from health class. Take it away. Muscles move body parts by contracting and then relaxing, but they can't do it alone. They work in pairs called flexors and extensors. The bicep muscle, a flexor, in the front of your upper arm contracts to bend a limb at a joint while the extensor relaxes. And the triceps muscle, an extensor in the back of your upper arm contracts to extend or straighten the elbow. 
So now you know about biceps and triceps, but there are tons more. Ah, <sighs> and each one is a special little friend. Sure, little friends. For example, your deltoid muscles help you move your shoulders. My deltoids are fabulous. Pectoralis muscles are found on each side of your upper chest. You can call them pectorals or pecs. My pecs are fabulous. Your quadriceps are in your thighs. My quads are fabulous. And let's not forget the gluteus maximus. These muscles are. They sit under your. Well, uh. Here we go again. You are so second grade. My glu gluteus maximus. That's my name, Maximus. Ah,、oh, wherever these gluteus maximus muscles are, mine are fabulous. The gluteus maximus is in your rear end. What? My my what? Oh, you have embarrassed Maximus. Can we talk about something else? Yeah, let's talk about how to make our muscles stronger. Kids don't need to lift weights. We just need to eat healthy foods and play. You know, like run around, ride our bikes, and just have fun. It's a tough job, but somebody's got to do it. <sighs> so, I don't need to lift all these weights. All the time, do I have a healthy body? Nope. Maximus, are you okay? Oh, my muscles, my aching muscles. Hey, now that you know a lot more about muscles, which ones are sore? Your deltoids, your pectorals, your quadriceps? I think all of them. <laughs> <laughs>